step into that and sit down and be in the cockpit of the Millennium Falcon. Yeah, it's really wild, it's really exciting. It's kind of bigger than you can even wrap your head around. Um, and it's, it's wonderful, it's particularly being in the Millennium Falcon. It's very, very cool. And very much like being in the cockpit. You know, you kind of get into the cockpit. For me, it was, it was two things. One, you get in and you can't believe you're in it. And it's so surreal. And that's what I really Session together 
how to how to be this character. And uh, so you went to a Chewy boot camp. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, tickets were all sold out, and I was able to squeeze in <laughs> regardless. And uh, it was fun because uh, he I never could have understood what went on underneath the map mask of Peter Mayhew. And now that I got to know that, it was so easy going into uh, shooting this film, which is so much about Han and Chewie and everyone, uh, that, that it was so important to get right for this film. It's absolutely amazing to watch. It is unbelievable. It really is. It's more of a Chewie movie than any Star Wars movie. <laughs> Yeah, that, that sort of vibe of just everyone having fun really comes through. The movie itself 
has an incredibly fun vibe to it. And uh, speaking of that, I want to talk about Al Green, who I just think is incredible.
right. He was just like, hit me harder! <laughs> 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 What does this mean? What does this tell us about console? 
And, uh, and so it, it sort of defined the way the action scenes would be cut, would be shot, and roll out. And uh, it was challenging, but it was really uh, fun and exciting. And it, the, the big surprise for me is what it last And there's a line in the movie where Mando says to Elsa, you know, can I get you anything else? And L3 says, people right. And I think that's one of the most hilarious lines of the film. It's not only a commentary on what L3's character is, but it's a commentary on his day. And so I wonder if you could come up with that. sense of 
what I'd like to see or what I, where I think the church is uh, going. But uh, they really understood it. And, and uh, John, in particular, the state director, the, the production was fun. He is encyclopedic. He was awesome in terms of contributing those sort of things and, and, and sort of about it.
beautifully laid out in the hope between his ideals and his desires. And he's constantly at war with that. He's at war with that in this movie, and he's at war with it in all the movies that will follow in his life. And that's a very fun sort of charge in his life. Great. Well, thank you so much, everybody, for taking the time. Thank you all for coming out. And filmmakers from Solo, Star Wars story.